Hello, welcome to this session of Open Education Champions. Open Education Champions is a chance to talk to important uh, open education advocates and actors, uh, which is why we are talking to you as an Open Education Champion today. And the intent is for uh, students, teachers, uh, uh, pedagogues, practitioners of open education like yourself to discuss the importance of open education and to share experiences with uh, facilitating and creating uh, more OER to inspire others to do the same so that we can underline uh, the role of uh, also librarians in the process whenever possible. So my name is Paola Corti and I am the Open Education Community Manager at Spark Europe. And I am very pleased to welcome you, Giulia Bojali, uh, as a student, our first student uh, and our first uh, Open Education Champion too. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you for inviting me. So um, can you start telling us uh, a bit about uh, um, your work with OER and uh, on open pedagogy more broadly? Um, how did you come to be involved uh, in open education? And uh, have librarians uh, supported you so far on that open education journey? Well, uh, um, actually, I learned about uh, open education through uh, my passion for open software, which uh, I developed when I joined um, uh, Poll, which is Polytechnic Open Unix Labs, uh, as soon as I started university. And uh, what this uh, computer club does is um, organizing uh, courses about free and open technologies. And uh, in doing that, we also do open education because these courses are free and open to everyone, both from uh, Polytechnico and from outside. And uh, recordings and slides are released uh, with uh, an open license on our website. Um, about librarians, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to work with them yet, but I look forward to doing that in the future. Thank you, Julia. It seems that uh, you already had a great experience uh, with open education together with uh, your peers, other students, and uh, uh, it's interesting to, to listen to what you're saying, uh, because it's a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, support that uh, is not so uh, common in Italian universities, maybe. So who has benefited from open education at your institution, Politecnico di Milano, as well as beyond it? And what would you say have been the key benefits? Well, I'd say for sure, students, first of all. Um, I'm thinking both of the courses that we organize and are followed mostly by students, also by some adults, but uh, not that many. Uh, but I think the greatest benefit was by far the sharing of uh, notes uh, and uh, stuff in general to help you study for exams. Uh, me personally, I've never had to buy a book throughout my university career. And uh, I've always studied on materials uh, provided by other fellow students or even professors actually, whom I think uh, could also benefit from uh, open education in uh, sharing, uh, for example, slides or materials in general in order to provide uh, better lessons. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, is there any practice that is already in place around sharing the notes and the slides together with an open license? Or is it something that you uh, took care about in your whole activities, but it's not uh, already at least uh, a common practice in between students and together with the professors? Well, sharing is a common practice, especially in computer science. Uh, I'd say a lot of people share their notes. The use of licenses is uh, a lot less, less common. I think that the, the main problem is that people don't even know about the existence of licenses. So if they have good notes, they just share them and maybe with a, a few lines at the beginning to explain who these notes came from, uh, but nothing more. And uh, as poll, we are trying to fix that. We've organized a small workshop about uh, licenses 
And uh, we always use a license for our slides. So we try to teach people to use licenses as well. Well, that's a very useful practice coming from students <coughs> also. Um, and what do you see as a key successes in the open education movement uh, as a whole so far, starting from your own experience anyway? Well, in my own experience, I'm actually uh, very happy about all the work that uh, Paul has done because uh, come to think about it, I mean, we do receive some finances from uh, pretty technical, for example, they pay for posters or for the classes that we use, but everything else is uh, organized uh, just by volunteers. Uh, and uh, we, do, we, set, we do the course, uh, we do the recording. Uh, some of us actually even draw the design of the manifests. Um, it's, uh, I think that uh, it's really inspiring the fact that people care about sharing the knowledge about open software so much that they do all this work uh, for free. I, I have to be honest, I totally agree with that. And the enthusiasm that uh, comes out from your uh, experience is great. It's so interesting for me to, to see what students can uh, do by themselves sometimes. And uh, thanks to their energy, their enthusiasm and their values also, you know, about sharing and about uh, open culture in general. Um, and, on the other side, what still needs to be done for open education to truly take hold? What are still the most pressing challenges? Uh, well, I think there's a lot of, of education that still needs to be done. For example, as I was saying before, we need to teach people about licenses, that licenses exist and that they're actually good, both for you, for the person who uses your material and for the material itself. And I think for that uh, side of the problem, uh, uh, students need to learn a lot, but also professors. Um, I think that students kind of uh, already know and appreciate the possible benefits of uh, sharing the material. Uh, maybe professors might be a little bit less enthusiastic. I've uh, had some professors who actually uh, shared a ton of material, even by previous students. Others who are a lot less inclined to do so. And I think those professors would, would need to be educated to the fact that sharing can be beneficial for everyone. And it doesn't mean that your work gets uh, stolen. It means that your work, your work gets reused and maybe, maybe even uh, made better. And so you, what you're suggesting is uh, to uh, start from the background uh, knowledge, okay, around the licenses themselves uh, as, a, uh, as, a, as an enable, enabler, sorry, um, in itself, uh, in order to better understand the, which are the benefits. Is it what uh, you're suggesting yes, somehow? Definitely, definitely. I think we need to teach what the benefits are and uh, of course teaching about licenses is uh, uh, vital to that then uh, once we've uh, taught people that we could also start working on uh, better tools to share for example uh, uh, whenever i found uh, the, the notes i studied on i always found them on uh, random websites or groups uh, or uh, all in different places one uh, my kind of my dream would be to have a centralized repository um, uh, where everyone can upload their notes and other students can use them or open uh, issues and pull requests, kind of like GitHub, in order to change them. And uh, of course, everything would have to have a license. And uh, do you foresee any specific role for librarians in this? Well, of course, I mean, uh, what better person than a librarian to take care of this repository? I mean, after all, uh, a library is uh, an open repository of knowledge already. Yeah, uh, thank you for that. So uh, do you also foresee somehow that the experience that you did in poll, uh, sharing uh, teaching materials and uh, the lessons themselves might be a good practice uh, uh, to be shared with teachers in order to let them know how things can work uh, 
uh, with open licenses? Uh, well, yes, for sure. I mean, uh, I think Paul is a pretty successful uh, example of uh, open culture and uh, open education, uh, openness in general. And uh, well, what are your plans for the future of open education? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm uh, me personally, I'm going to finish school uh, soon, hopefully. And uh, I really hope I can keep on uh, uh, giving to open education, even in my work life. Well, that's wonderful, Julia. <laughs> Our best wishes to you for your career and to finish your uh, university experience uh, uh, in a way that enables you to keep on uh, the good job. Is there anything else you would like to add or anything else you would like to ask or to say to librarians who are maybe listening to us or watching this video? Well, uh, thank you for what you're doing already uh, for the open, uh, for open knowledge. And uh, I hope we can uh, help each other open uh, uh, even more. Well, thank you very much. It's been a very interesting conversation, Julia, and uh, I hope that uh, we will keep in touch and have uh, new chances in the future to, to talk together and to have your updates, okay, about your experiences with open education. I hope that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks again for your time and uh, well, see you in the future. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.